What if there was a tool that looked at all of the dexes on a chain and then found you the best swap through those dexes? Well, what if there was a tool that looked at all of the tools that do that and then found you the best swap amongst those tools that are also looking at other dexes? Well, we're going to look at that today. We're going to look at a decentralized exchange aggregator, aggregator, a tool that finds you the best swap amongst tools that are already trying to find you the best swap. I'm Steven, the calculator guy, founder of DeFi Dojo Discord, and today your swapping game is going to be leveled up. Let's dive right in. So before we look at the actual tool, we need to understand what a DEX is, what an aggregator is, and then we can look at the DEX aggregator aggregator. So a DEX, if you don't know, is just a decentralized exchange where you can swap one token for another token. And I'm not going to go much more deep than that because you probably know that already. There are a bunch of different DEX aggregators. Rango is an example, Open Ocean is an example, and Firebird is an example. There are many, many others, but these are just three that I'm going to use because they sort of show you what they do on the back end. And I think that that's really useful to sort of conceptualize what's happening. So a DEX aggregator is a tool that looks at the decentralized exchanges on a certain chain and tries to find you the best swap rate amongst all the different DEXs. So let's say that uh, we're trying to swap 100 wrapped AVEX to USDT ETH. You can see that Rango is going to route that swap through Paraswap and convert that 100 wrapped AVEX into roughly 100 and 1,000, sorry, 1,273 dollars. If you use Open Ocean, however, they're going to convert it into well the same amount. However, they're not going to be using Paraswap. They're going to be using their own liquidity. They could have used Trader Joe, Pangolin, and Lydia, who they've also looked at, but they've determined that they have the best output themselves. Firebird is not going to route through either of those other options. In fact, they're going to be using Kyberswap and Platypus, uh, so, and they're giving arguably the best possible rate. Um, I don't know why my swap has gone away. Here we go. Uh, they're offering 1,274. Uh, of course, the minimum received is 1,267. I love when exchanges show you the minimum received because effectively what they're doing is saying like, if the max slippage is hit, this is what you will receive. Now you can set your slippage on all of these to roughly, I do 0.5 because that's reasonable considering the amount of liquidity for wrapped AVEX and USDTE. Uh, here they also show you the minimum received but Rango does not show you the minimum received, which is kind of a bummer, but not what we're talking about. Let's now look at DeFi Llama. So we know, uh, so we know that DeFi Llama has this DEX meta aggregator. And we also know that DEX aggregators aggregate all the different DEXs on a specific chain. Now Rango also does multi-chain, so Rango will route your will route your transactions not only through the best DEXs on one chain, it'll route them from one chain to another chain and find the best DEX and bridge to do that with. If you want to learn more about Rango, I have a video on it. Feel free to go watch that. This meta DEX aggregator, which I used today for the first time and was so blown away by it that I had to make a video, uh, simplifies things dramatically. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to Avalanche chain. We're going to select wrapped. AVAX, super easy. Now we're going to do USDT.E, USDT.E, perfect. Let's do 100, uh, slippage 0.5. I could probably do 0.1 to be honest. And look what it's doing. It found us better rates than everywhere else. And to me, this is this is incredible um, because you can see the other places where it could have route through. Open Ocean is even on there. Paraswap uh, is on there. That's what Rango's using. Kyberswap is on there. That's what Firebird is using. But it beats all three of those DEX aggregators. It this is just mind-blowingly good. I always used Open Ocean. Sometimes I would use Firebird. Uh, and if I'm doing multi-chain, I'll use Rango. This tool is just incredible. And not only that, it's feeless. DeFi Llama is not taking a cut of this right now. They're they're using, uh, they're getting, I believe, some portion of the fees that the that the aggregator is getting um, to like partner with them or something. So like you're not paying any additional fees, and also they're telling you what the gas cost is going to be. So they're going to they're telling you what you get after the gas cost. 
outstanding, amazing, wonderful, and look how easy it is. Um, actually, I don't have 100 rep AVAX to, to send, but effectively what you will do, because I did this earlier today, is you will click on the swap of your choice. You can click any of these. You don't have to go with what they recommend. You could go with, if you wanted to, routing this through yield jack, uh, but I'm, I would route this through one inch. So you click on one inch, then you can approve or approve infinite. Approve infinite means that effectively you're approving your app AVAX forever for this tool to use. Now, there are some risks associated with approve infinite. Uh, for example, if DeFi Llama somehow gets hacked, you know, it's DeFi Llama, but if they do uh, and you're approved there, not a good time. So approving once just says that I'm approving only for this transaction. Approve infinite says that whenever I come back here, I don't wanna approve again. I don't wanna pay this tiny gas fee to approve again. So just, you know, I trust you guys approve forever. You have to determine what you guys wanna do. Um, clearly for, for lower risk tolerance, approving once is better, but if you're gonna be using this all the time, especially on the Ethereum chain where, where approval fees might be expensive, maybe you do approve infinite, totally up to you. Now, uh, so you would click approve and then swap. It is that simple. You guys have done this before. You know what swapping is like. To, be, to have this tool available to us, I think it's almost like a cheat code. Uh, it feels as if we're accessing something, you know, who knows a little bit a little bit spicy or our next level so i hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully you use this tool uh defi llama is still not an affiliate of mine i do not get paid by them i just love their tools so much i love what they build uh i love their ethos and you know they deserve all the press they can possibly get because they are some of the best builders uh, in defi especially when it comes to just creating things that bring direct utility to the vast majority of defi users whether it be their uh, borrow aggregator, their yields aggregators, just the data they show, uh, DeFi Llama, hats off to them. Now, I run the DeFi Dojo Discord, and I do want to quickly mention that the arena is live. If you don't know what the arena is, it's a place where the best DeFi strategists in the dojo, these are people who have, you know, years of experience, who have backgrounds in TradFi, who do funding rate arbitrage, who do all sorts of crazy strategies, are now competing for cash prizes by uh, submitting strategies. I will then open those position strategies and then, you know, may the best one win. There are three winners each month. Uh, currently, one of the strategies is already up 17% uh, in four days. Of course, I've closed that because the strategy said, okay, you know, we've hit our, our reward range. May as well take profit here. I think uh, it's in the bag. Other strategies uh, already up multiple percents in a week and a half that they've been open. So do come check out the arena. I think it's probably the coolest thing the DeFi Dojo has built in a while. Um, man, I love that Discord. That's all. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful rest of your day.